What's up, YouTube? This is James from the 104th Voice Squad, and today, uh, we're gonna get back into Seduce Me and try to get a decent route this time. If you've been watching the last couple of videos, you'll know that I've made all the mistakes, all of them. Just horrible, horror bad, horror bad mistakes. <laughs> so, we're gonna do a new game, and, um, since most of you who are, most of you who are watching this already played the game, um, I'm pretty certain it's okay for me to just like speed through a lot of this. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna just pick all of, like, any questions that involve Naomi and Suzu. I'm just gonna just pick Suzu all the time, and I'm not gonna slap anybody and, and maybe Why see if, if that help if that helps My anything. Aren't Shut up. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, James, yeah, actually no, no, I can't put the whole name, alright, <laughs> mm. <A lovely laughs> we'll do this. For a lovely person like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric. Very well. Eric. Come on. Fine. Somewhere. Ah. Let's skip this. What can we skip this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down. Okay. Oh, it's like it's really just. Yeah, I can just hit skip mode. That's really. That's really. Uh, how do you say? Uh, convenient. How about a company name? Oh yeah, company name. You guys remember this? Of course we did. Yeah, uh, well, let's see. I'm Trinity Corporation. Yeah, I know. I picked that, that last is time. Way too predictable. How about Dragon what do Company? Dragons have to do with our project? What? It's a totally un. But our company sells. Who said we can't produce spicy? You know, I, I, I still want to pick the other name, Trinity Corporations, because whatever. But I, we're we're gonna go all Suzu this time. Dragon Company. Yeah. Booyah! Dragon Company. Oh yeah, she's so happy. All right, now that we've decided oh, she doesn't seem too upset about it. Now what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's say, let's just skip that. All right, I wish I was as fast as her getting out of here. I think that's a, a Suzu thing. Oh, not you too. Yeah. She's turning you into a delinquent. Ah, uh, it's all right. It's a <laughs> joke. Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? You're too slow. We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you finally so admit it. Let's go. We're finally on the same skip. wavelength. Again. I think I go to the cafeteria and I get to pick something to eat. Now, Suzu picked Cajun fries and a spicy chicken burger. Naomi's having something. It just I think it's um, tuna fish and regular juice. Um, we're gonna pick Cajun fries and spicy chicken burger. We're picking all Suzu centric options now and see what happens. Might as well go spicy today. Did I get anything out of that? I don't know. All right then. Is there anything we want to talk about? Mm. <laughs> Bored already? I know. Let's talk about the boys, and I will never speak to you ever. Again. I think this is skippable. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the questions. Jeez. The funeral. That sucked. I want to kick his butt. Mom, you're alright. Oh, look. It's Grandpa Anderson from KFC or whatever. He kind of looks like him. You can't tell me he doesn't. Alright, so we talk to this guy. He doesn't want to talk about Granddad. He's a jerk. He slaps me. It hurts. I go upstairs. I'm mad. Bruises everywhere. Abusive relationship. Uh, probably not. Friends call, we talk, 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 talk. All right. Uh, well, I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, all right, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when we're, you know, I get to the school, I tell them about the whole getting the house thing. And she's just like, all right, a house. And Naomi's like, but come on, the grandfather died. And uh, last time I picked, Suzu's right, Naomi. I mean, no. That's my pick. Naomi's right, Suzu. This is my pick, and Suzu's right, Naomi. 
Of course you would side with her. What? Oh, come on. Huh. See, at least she knows how to have fun. I know how to have fun. You don't need to be wild to have fun. Oh, boy. <laughs> Guys, I'm going there after school today because my parents want me to get used to living there. Seriously? Mm -hmm. It hasn't even been a day since you came back to school. I know, right? They want me to live there as soon as possible. Still, that's really fast. Ah. Are you going to be okay? No, there's Incubi there. <laughs> oh. Hey, don't go around shoving people like that. Whoops, did I strike a nerve, Capini? Oh man, I hope I activated some type of extra fight option for her. And, oh, Anderson. Hey, how's it going? Shut up. Uh, of. That is out of line. Suzu comes from an aunt, says the one who's. Oh, yeah, the snobby your bitches. Dad is <laughs> hey. Can we all fight? Let's all fight. Uh oh, so, okay, so I tell us at the stop. Stop acting like you. like that already. like you feel sorry for me. I can't talk hmm? today. What are you talking about? Oh, Lord, you know what I'm talking about. You just love what's happening, don't you? Bitterness seeped into me and world started. Okay, so. It's pretty much the same as before. All he saw in front of me. So no matter what option I pick, I'm just gonna just talk to Lisette like she deserves it. This I'm sorry. I know you're. Mm. Well, I'll be going for now. Okay, so I can't Tracking do anything extra. No fighting. Stuff. Uh, See you later. All right, we'll skip you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look, this douche. All right, so he's, he's in the car. He's going to take me to the house. I feel like I should talk to him about... Um, not... Last time I did try to talk to him again. And I feel like... I feel like I should try to talk to him again. Let's try that. We are not talking about this. Well, I figured that would happen. I wouldn't care if he had left even long before that. You suck. All right, stare out the window. I'm like, oh, look, trees, houses, sky. Oh, we're at the house. Okay, um, and he's not going to help me get in Here the house. Here we are. Oh, you suck. He didn't even say good uh, goodbye or I love you or anything. Got you. All right, I go in the house. Nothing, nothing is gonna go wrong. Everything is perfect. And then I saw these dudes. All right, so. Thank you, by on the floor. We know this. Oh, he, Sam tries to kiss me. How dare you, Alejandro? How dare you? <laughs> I punched him so much. All right, so I'm not going to hit him. I'm going to ask for an apology this time. As in he, uh, So I, I say, hey, give me an apology. That should suffice. As if to himself, he muttered something under his breath. Why do I always look like the bad guy? <sighs> Apologies aren't my forte, but I'll try my best. All right. Let's hear it. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? I'm sorry for kissing you like that. I went too far. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Not that I don't believe him or anything. It's just like, I don't know. You're an incubi, you're supposed to do that. Anyway, moving on. I still didn't want it, though. We gotta make sure we remember that part. He sighed and ran his fingers through his hair. I didn't mean for it to turn out that way. It's just... Oh, I Lord. act on impulse, okay? It's difficult to control myself in... <sighs> what am I saying? Uh, I don't know. What are you saying? It's okay. I get what you're trying to say. Thank you for the apology. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, if you try to pull any funny business in the future, I know Taekwondo. <laughs> all right, I think I've bigger than enough. Time to get back to the main issue. So what exactly are you all doing in my house? We know the deal. Malix tried to kill them, and they s snuck into the house to heal. I get kissed again. Oh, no, I fainted. Oh, look, it's you. It's Damien. He's in the room for no reason. Why? I should jump up and protect myself. No, of course not. 
my goal is to not be violent whatsoever to anything you buy because I think by doing that I just ruin any chance of even talking to them. So I'm just gonna be calm, be cool. I took a deep breath. I was sure that if any of, any of them wanted to take advantage of me, they would have done it already. All right, I'm awake now. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, I got a um Damien Heart Point thing. All right, a small form of a smile on his cheeks made me blush a bit. Isn't he just wonderful? Why, though, what is... One thing still concerned me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Isn't that nice? Like, why do you even have powers if you're not even... And technically, you did use your powers. The mind-reading thing is technically a power. And, I mean, I know you can't control it or anything, but, uh... You know, that counts, right? So we're just gonna skip past all this. Um... You know, it's just... How it's going? Oh, look, it's Matthew. All right, he's got something for me. It's that thing. This is the weird Pokemon guy. All right, so what? Um, obviously I'm going to keep it because it'll make him feel better about it, right? So let's. I think I'll keep it. But it looks so creepy. It's all right, dude. It's the thought that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up after all. I picked up the doll and looked at it closely. Sure, it looks pretty weird at first, but it could be cute if you look at it in a certain angle. I gave him a small smile. Thanks. Yay! A point. <laughs> You're welcome. I think it's good to see you smiling, even though the thing I made still kind of creeps me out. Yeah, well, you know, do a better job you next come time. Come with me to the dining room. We're almost finished with the food, and well, I don't mean to brag, but we're pretty decent chefs. All right, let's do it. Sounds great. Lead the way. Hmm, something smells good. Ugh, that is the nastiest uh, grumbling tummy sound I've ever heard. Although. There was that one episode where I had like the same noise coming out of my stomach. Oh, the girl's awake. Yo, for real? I have a name. Should we really care? Wow, what an asshole. Still! <laughs> Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. Alright, so we're gonna skip forward a little bit. Alright, uh, thank you. Okay, we're getting food ready. Oh, there goes Eric the Flirt. Oh, and he wants to talk about my, um... My issue with coming to the house early right after my parents died and how I hate my dad. Okay, um, sure, let's talk about it. That explains the luggage you brought in when you came through the front doors. By the way, we put your belongings in the room you were sleeping in. That seems to be the master bedroom, I believe. Mm hmm Thanks, this house is really big. I don't even think I've explored the entirety of the estate when I was a child. You lived here before? No, it was my grandfather's house. I used to visit him all the time when I was a kid. May I ask why you now live in your grandfather's house? Ah, uh, passed away yesterday. Gave me the house in his will. Was sent to live here. My condolences. It seems like you don't like the idea of living here. Oh, you can't tell. You can tell, huh? I was trying to hide it, and I thought I did a good job at that. No, no, I have fond memories. It's just the implications that come with living here. It's pretty much my dumb dad's fault. Yay! How point. do you feel about it? Angry. I wasn't expecting this question, but in a good way. It was different from what I had heard the entire day at school. I appreciated the fact that he was willing to listen. Angry, sad, scared, confused. Kind of hard picking out the different emotions I'm feeling right now. Wish I was stronger. You don't have to be strong. Word. Why is that? I understand that you're going through a difficult time, so it's okay to feel those emotions. <laughs> Am I going too fast you don't for you have guys? to be strong at all. I, I, I know I'm going, like, really fast. It's just that we all... If you're watching any of this, you know all this already. I'm just trying to uh, you all right? get to the new there parts. There seems to be a small bruise on your cheek. Oh, Lord. He found the beatdown on my face from hmm. earlier. Well, if you're having any problems, I'm always here to listen. Um, I, thanks, man. That's my pleasure. the sweetest thing Here's I've ever heard. Let me get your chair for you, oh, lovely lady. Captain flirts a lot. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna hit him this time. By the way, I yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't seem like it unless you're like, you know, that's all a charade or something. Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered, whispered <laughs> and whispered in my ear. I won't lie though. Uh oh. I enjoyed kissing you oh. and feeling you melt oh. in my arms. Oh, Escalante. Hey. I was torn between smacking him and trying to play it cool. We're gonna play it cool. You're quite a charmer. Yes, I am known for that. Well, as much as I do appreciate the constant compliments, you do not have to keep talking to me like that. 
Like what? Uh, like what? Like I'm trying to get my pants half the time. Uh, all right. I can assure you, I'm just a lover of beautiful women. Yeah, sure you are. Let's see, something tells me there's more to that. Let's just go ahead and skip forward. Oh, I got a point. Yeah, 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 Um. Alright, so we were in a whole story. You know, the demon, evil bad guy was chasing him. You know, they had to hide into the house in order to escape. I'm gonna let them stay so they can heal and beat the guy and then blah, 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 and then... Alright, so I'm just skipping through all of this mess. Okay, so I was gonna laugh. Should I laugh? So then, I don't know. I, this is the part where Sam and Matthew were eating the table with like just stuff in their faces, and Mika is supposed to be deciding whether she's gonna laugh at them because it looks funny or not. Um, I feel like not doing it. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna laugh. Yeah, I was right. I was right. I was right. Okay. Um. All right. I really smiled. Oh, I, I. Oh, I just really smiled. Okay. I really smiled before I took some food for myself. There was one piece of food that intrigued me and was barely touched by the boys. It looked like green pasta with shrimp over it. That looks pretty. Sounds pretty good. Huh? What's this? That miss is a shrimp pesto dish. Pastas are my specialty, so I'm positive you'll enjoy it. Nice. Now I know something about James. He likes to make pasta. Okay. I twirled some around my fork and tried it. I could feel my senses open as my taste buds practically melted in delight of the taste. It was creamy and savory, almost impossible to describe. What the hell is this? It's just Olive Garden. This is amazing. I'm glad you like it. At least someone here in the room has taste. Really? Matthew and Sam glared at James before they continued to eat. I couldn't help but smile at the brotherly quarrel before eating the rest of the pasta on my plate. James seemed to really hold high standards up for his brothers, though it wasn't my place to question why. I wonder if this means I should try to talk to James more. I don't, I'm not really sure. Eventually, we all ate dinner together. It was strange, eating just with just guys, but they were enjoyable to be around. They made me feel like a part of their family as we ate together. However, our peace was soon disturbed. Oh, yeah, this is the, um... Yeah, we're gonna skip to this. You know, Mom wants to have a... It's gonna tell me that the Dad wants to have some type of welcoming party in the house I just moved into, so that sucks. Okay, yeah, we're skipping all this stuff. Oh, look, uh, I had a nightmare, apparently, or a premonition, one of those things. Uh, so I found they, in, they used to live in the castle. Suzu and Naomi are here. And Matthew opened the door like an idiot. So now I gotta find a way to explain why these dudes are in my house. Uh, yeah, man. I think I. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, What's boy. going on here? Yeah, let me tell you a thing. Who's that oh, five of them showed up. That's just great. The situation was not getting pretty. I had to think fast. They're in your head! No. <laughs> That's not a good option. <laughs> They're my brothers? They're not going to believe that. I wonder if these, if these options matter. They're visitors. Hmm. Um... Uh, what choice should I pick? She said that made her feel like she's part of the family, so... Yeah. Oh, by the way, that person in the background is my sister. She's, uh... uh she's, uh, watching me play the the game. Um, say hi, Nelly. Hi. Yeah. You're on YouTube now. Yay! Really? Yes, yeah, sort of. I need more YouTube time. <laughs> wow, already making demands. All right, anyways... Um, um, well, their visitors should then be fine. Then why did one of them open the door? Because I let them. It's not yeah, a big that deal. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. It's, it's okay. It's okay. 
Um, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, there's no use, there's no time to lie. I felt helpless. I'm going to skip forward. Alright, I love the food. Yeah, they're believing the lie that they're just people that help around the house. Now I gotta make a decision. Do I go out with Susan and Naomi or do I stay and help around the house? I feel like if I stay and help around the house, I'll have an opportunity to um to learn about one of the the dudes. So we're gonna try that out because I went and did this last time. We didn't really accomplish anything. I mean, I mean, I went to the arcade. The arcade was cool, but it didn't really seem to have done anything. So we're gonna try staying help around the house this time. Are you sure? I'm sure. Besides, it's a, it's my housewarming party. I, I should help out too. Want us to help out as well? I think we got it all taken care of. Thanks, though, girls. All right, we'll head on out then, so we're not in the way. Sorry, guys. I'll hang out with you guys soon. It's all good, Anderson. We'll definitely come to the housewarming party tonight. Sweet. Thank you. I led them back into the hobby and walked them to the doors, opening it for them with a thankful smile. They both gave me hugs before walking out to Naomi's car, which was parked in the hall in the driveway. Hallway. That's not what it says. You said lo uh, lobby. Yeah, lobby. that was weird. Lobby. And with that, they left. I was happy that they wanted to help, but I had to do this on my own. It was not their work, and I didn't, so I didn't want to force it on them just because they were my best friends. We had the entire day to work. The party was tonight, and we had all we could, and we had to do all we could to make everything right. We sat down and talked about what we need, what needed to happen before the party started that night. Each guy had been assigned a different part of the party to do. Right, and right after lunch, we began to work. Since everything was taken care of by at least one incubus, James told me I could could assist one of us. The question was who. I knew it. All right, so I get to pick, pick somebody. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right. All right, Nelly. Which which one should I pick? Um. Damien, which is on the left. This is Sam right there in the green. Uh, James is in the middle. Eric right there, or Matthew. Which which one is? I, mean, I know you haven't played. The, I know you haven't seen anything about this game. I, I would no say idea. choose Matthew. He's the youngest one, and he probably will go off blabbing at the mouth. Really, that's your reason? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that's, okay. Well, so Matthew, let's let's go with Matthew. Let's do it. I walked into the kitchen and instantly looked over at Matthew, who was quickly slicing up strawberries and placing them into a nearby bowl. I like strawberries. I walked over and looked over his shoulder to watch. Matthew didn't seem to mind, so I decided to ask him a question. What are you making? I'm going to make a large batch of strawberry cupcakes. These strawberries are going to be the top pieces. It's nice. I love cupcakes. <laughs> That sounds delicious. Can I help? Yeah, I kind of hoped you would. <laughs> Can you start by making the batter for the cupcakes? I put the ingredients and some directions on the counter over there. Oh man, he's so detailed. I nodded before heading over to another counter, where a string of ingredients and a small note card of directions sat at the ready. I smiled and began to work, mixing the ingredients and pouring the batter into cupcake tins to bake. I had to admit, I made a little bit of a mess, but I felt like the cupcakes were still fine. There we go. Now we just need to wait. As I turned to face Matthew, I noticed Matthew's red face. Oh lord. Already. I tilted my head before he walked over and moved his hand a bit towards my face. Why is he doing that? His hand a bit towards my f Why? He stopped, however, looking to me for permission. Uh, not to him or touch my own face. <laughs> I feel like I should nod to him, give him permission. I to, hope to touch your face. Yeah, I. I... <laughs> oh, you may not know this, but I didn't do any of this in the, in the in the video prior, and I didn't get a good ending at all. So I feel like I'm gonna let people do things just but a little bit gonna, more. They're gonna feel biased. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> they're, they're all like you. Watch. All the yeah, they, oh, I'm positive. I'm positive. I'm so good because I'm so handsome. Mm-hmm. All right, Especially because you you're a girl. In this game. <laughs> I feel like that was a shot. Like you just try to like try to make fun of me uh, on YouTube. Anyway, okay, I'm going to nod to him. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so I got a point for that, I guess. Matthew continued to move his hand towards me, gently brushing a finger over my cheek. My senses tripled, feeling his finger wipe over a small stain of powder and cream that had landed on my face. See, he just wanted to clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to clean me off. Mm -hmm. Wait. Clean the cream off my face. Yeah, that he put there. Ah! <laughs> not supposed to sound wrong. It's not wrong. Okay, okay, I guess you didn't get it. It's okay. You, uh, you got a stain. Yeah. Cool. Don't eat it. Matthew's finger was ginger and timid, wiping the stain off with as little contact as possible. Lightning shot through my body at each wipe, running down my spine in jolts. Why? I closed my eyes, unconsciously leading into his touch. Really? And naturally wanting more. Is he draining my energy somehow? Is he doing the incubus thingy? Anyway, however, Matthew pulled his hand away, causing me to open my eyes and look at him. Matthew was biting his lower lip and had pulled his hand to his chest. What the frick? Sorry. Um, I got it all? <laughs> oh. Thank you. Okay, what the hell is going on? Matthew quickly shook his head and grinned his goofy grin at me before continuing to make another appetizer for the party. I blinked a couple of times, wondering if he... if... if what I saw was real. The hour of the house party had arrived. In my mind, I kept double and triple checking, checking the essentials for the party. Knowing my dad, he invited his business partners and the executives of the Anderson Company to show me off. Oh, Lord have mercy. Stood in front of the mirror, blah, blah, blah. We're skipping all through all of this. Yeah, 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 I'm at the party. Yep, there they are. All right, I'm as, am I ready for the party? Yeah, I'm as, yes, I am ready. So clean and confident. I had to be confident in my skills. My dad expected a lot out of me today. If I faltered at this party, who knows what he would think of me. I had to assure myself in every word that came out of my mouth that I was ready. By the way, this woman's dad is a jerk. Mm -hmm. I have to be the CEO. He wants me to be the CEO of his toy company. And I have no interest in that. But whatever. Anyway, uh, the other boy smiled assuringly at me, made me feel a little bit better about everything. I looked at my phone and marked the time. Almost right on cue, the doorbell rang. I gulped. Let's go ahead and skip straight to the questions. Oh. Yes, uh, I feel... I am doing my best. I'm so sorry about your grandfather passing away. It really hit all of us hard. Um, yeah, I know, right? Thank you for your condolences. Do you have college plans? I feel like I'm just answering like questions from a script, literally. It's kind of up in the air, we'll see. I'm mostly from the present. No, I don't want to say that. There's a possibility. Pff, college, I don't need that. Definitely can't say that. Do I? Uh, I can't say that. I'll say yes, I do. I felt like the questions came up one after another. It was tough to answer some of them because they weren't about me. They were about the company. They were about the company. What do you think will happen with the company now that your grandfather has passed? Well, I don't really care. No, I can't say that. I'll get back on. It'll get back on track. I don't ask me. I have no freaking clue. Can't say that. It's hard to say. I'm not an executive or anything. Can't say that. It depends on who runs it, I guess. But what do you think of the philanthropic policy the company has? I don't know. I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's a policy that reflects my own values. I think I have to pick that one. Do you think the company should expand from just toys? Ah, oh, jeez. It's a toy company, why? It's a possibility. I feel, I'll do this one. Eventually the question stopped, thank God. Let's skip, skip forward. Oh look, it's Andrew. All right, so. Andrew's a potential guy that I could fall for, right, in this game. But I don't want to at all. I don't want to. I want to talk to one of the Incubi and get to know one of them more. I feel like 
you know, nodding to him, letting him, I mean, I mean, uh, placing, letting him touch my hand or whatever is going to push the characters the route towards him. So I'm going to not do that, I'm going to simply nod to him. Okay, Andrew was slightly taken aback, but, uh-oh, I see the expression, I, I fucked up, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> Andrew was slightly taken aback, but gently smiled and lowered his hand with a nod in return. My mother smiled at both of us, which made me lightly concerned. Why was she so excited to introduce me to Andrew? So, um, you organized this party very well, Miss Anderson. Why, thank you. I'll, I'll say thank you. You're welcome. Praise is very much deserved. Uh, I don't know if I should have did that. Andrew then chuckled nervously, bringing me a soft, bringing a soft fist to his lips to cover his laugh properly before smiling at me. I'm sorry if I seem a little forward. <laughs> I've just been excited to meet Harold Anderson's granddaughter. Word. All right, I, I, we, we've seen this before. So Dad shows up. He pisses off everybody. Makes Andrew sad. And last time I followed him, which I feel like, which is what you're supposed to do if you want to, like, you know, get with Andrew. So I'm gonna stay put this time. I watched as he disappeared into the crowd towards his towards the back of the house. I was worried, but I gave him his space. He obviously needed it. <laughs> not CEO material. Good Lord have mercy! I'm not CEO material. I don't want to be your stupid puppet. That's because you practically interrogated the young man. You tell him, Mom. A little questioning shouldn't have bothered him. He's obviously not ready for any title in our company. Our company. I bit my tongue. I didn't want to make a scene with my dad. One wrong word and he'd lecture me right in front of everyone. That was not something that I wanted at my housewarming party. I let out a sigh before looking at the clock. It was getting close to midnight, meaning the party was going to end soon. I lowered my gaze out of the window and saw a limo pull up. Huh? Whose limo is that? Hmm? Oh, that must be Lewis's car. I'll go get him. Stay with your father so you can escort your guests out together. Oh, I don't want to stay with him. Oh, no. Yes, Mom. It's BS. My mother left my dad and me to slowly escort the guests out. My dad held his simple smile as he thanked each person for coming. I did the same. Andrew quickly passed the doors before I could speak. So he is just done. He should be officially not in the picture, right? Eventually, only Susan, namely my parents, and the incubi were left. Dad walked over, placed a hand over my shoulder with a smile, stared at him with confusion over my face. What? You did good tonight. I'm proud. Well, great. Thanks, Keep Dad. Up and you'll be a good CEO. Oh, Lord have mercy. Not this All again. Right. Your mother and I have to leave. Good. Your Naomi and Suzu need to leave as well. Just because it's sad. Shut up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thanks for having us. It was a great party. You guys can tell I'm just, like, super annoyed at any dialogue that Anderson's dad has to say. Hey, look at that dress. Nice. We'll come visit tomorrow or something. All right? Yeah, man, sweet. Right, see ya. Good night, sweetie. Come visit us soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm, okay. We'll do that. Okay, so the incubi are left with me. That was tiring. It's not like you had to do any work, though. Really, Sam? Shut the hell up. Give her a break, man. She was getting interrogated. She handled yeah. herself the best she could. I did handle myself very As well. As expected, princess. Indeed. Since you're exhausted, why not head to bed? We can clean up. Sweet. Ugh. You mad, bro? Sam. All right, you guys sure? Positive. It shouldn't take long. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. it didn't take long to find you little shits after all. Uh-oh, not this guy again. Uh-oh, so who's that? Don't worry. No one will hurt you. Are you sure? Are you really sure? <laughs> oh, God. I wonder who that is. It's Malix. Ah, uh, he's very cool looking. All right. Oh. Also hot. Why did, I, why did I forget that she shows up here? She's hot. Okay, anyway, moving on. Oh, what's the matter, boys? You really didn't think I wouldn't find you, did you? I hoped you would, you piece of... Yeah, we know. 
what happens. What? What the fuck? Wh what? So the gun isn't working for some reason. I wonder why. Why the fuck won't you work? This place is protected. You tell him, Jonah Scott. I mean, Damien. What did you say, shrimp? This place has a seal, protecting it from hellborn magic. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Ah! Oh man, he's mad. The previous owner had this place protected by magic, Malix. Yep, that's his name. Protected by magic. <laughs> it would seem that your grandfather had some sort of protective barrier around this house. From the looks of it, it only disables hellborn magic. Sweet. And what's stopping me from dragging your asses out and shooting you then? Damn, bro. Um, so, out of pure instinct, I stepped forward and placed myself between Malix and the boys. No power, Malix wasn't going to fight. I took that chance to stand up to him instead of being powerless. Alright, three choices. Leave them alone. Fuck off, or get out of my house. Which one, which option do you think I should pick, Janelle? Well, fuck off seems more bold. Get out of my house just kind of seems kind of meh. Yeah, you know, which one's like, that's the most aggressive one. That's the most aggressive. Yeah. Uh, just leave them alone. I picked That's that. I think I picked that the first time. What happened? Um, he tried to attack me, and he grabbed my hair. Okay, so get out of my house. Yeah, let's just get out of my house. Malik growled at me, walking right up to me and leaned close to my face. I glared back, feeling my courage skyrocket. Since when does a little stain like you give orders to a guy who can rip your pretty little head from your body? <laughs> Look at his face. You really don't think, do you? If you kill me, you'll be hunted down by more than just the police. You little. What? Run! Duck! Duck! I ducked underneath Malix's incoming hand. I stared at his hand and his black flame tattoo in surprise. I took a couple of steps back from Malix. Matthew and Damien stepped in front of me, guarding me from Malix with their arms. <laughs> a quick one. I'm liking you more and more. Oh, wow. Are you sure this isn't a route, Michaela? <laughs> anyway, I know it's not. Back off, Malix! You tell him, Matthew. Don't start acting tough, you pathetic excuse of a demon. You need more protection than her. Shut up! Oh, did I make the little Matthew cry? Why don't you just grow up here? Huh. Enough, Malix. Yeah, Malix, enough. Listen to the hot devil chick. The woman who had been standing in silence the whole time planted a firm hand on Malix's shoulder. Malix looked back at her looked back at her with a growl and a glare that could kill. Since when did you get the guts to speak out of place? We both know you've never controlled me. I want them dead just like you two. But now's not the time. Fuck off! I know what I'm doing. Do you? Even if you did fight them, there's five against two. We never win. Okay, this looks different from the last time I played, so I guess I successfully deviated from the route where I fucked up. Alright. Um, <laughs> let's just... <laughs> Shut up! Let's go, Malix! We're wasting our time! Oh, man. They both mad at each other. The two growled at each other. If they could have used their magic, I could sense that their that fire would grow, would glow from underneath, from under their teeth. I can't read. Malik grunted and glared at the boys. He pointed at James, wanting so badly to use his fingers like a knife. <laughs> Just wait, pretty boys. We'll get you and fuck you up real good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that laugh, yo. Why did I, why did I do that? Then Malix turned to me, moving his finger to point directly between my eyes. And don't think you're safe. <laughs> Step outside. I dare you. <laughs> Yo, you were tripping. What? Yo, tripping. Yo. His laugh is like. Oh, by the way, we we think of that that character so far. 
I don't know. He's 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 leaving me very confused. The audience knows why I'm asking her. Because you, you 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 made it. You did his voice. Oh, never mind. It's not as fun since you figured it out so easily. That laugh, it just. Well, I mean, you're my sister. You should know, but um, like eventually you'll figure it out. But anyway. With that, Malix and the woman headed out of the mansion. The doors closed behind them, leaving the boys and I alone once again. I felt my knees give out from under me, forcing the boys to quickly turn to catch me. Whoa, whoa! Are you alright? Yeah, man. I almost got attacked by a demon. Mm -hmm. I am a peachy. Yeah, yeah, why was he here? He's been closely tracking us. Our blood trail from the forest must have led him here. Good job. You suck. We should have stopped him and finished it here. For once, Matthew, I agree with you. Stood up and rubbed my arms, feeling the goosebumps like Malik's left behind on me. I couldn't stop myself from shivering in fear of his words. Malix? Was he a demon? Oh, they, okay, they're, they're gonna explain the difference between demon and devil. I don't care. We're gonna split. We're gonna just skip all this. Alright, so essentially, I can't... Who you saying I love you to? Um, it just, I'll tell you later, it's just, I'm just trying to skip through all of this stuff. But, um, so right now I don't have, I don't have to worry about Malik's too much because apparently I have some type of magic protection over me and the house. So that's, that's a thing. Now I woke up and I could work on homework, make some coffee or explore the house. I don't remember what I did the first time. The first time what I did was I explored the house and I found... Uh, a room, and in that room, I had um, found some magic books, like some books to learn magic. I did that last time. Um, so, because of that, I'm going to try something else. You might need that magic stuff, though. Yeah, but I already did that earlier, so I want to see what happens if I do something different. I'm going to work on homework. Nah, that's boring. I'm going to stay in that room. I hate homework, anyways. School sucks. Anyway, oh, I'll make some coffee. I decided making coffee was my best bet in surviving the rest of the day. Why not? I hadn't had coffee in forever. So I, ha I mean, by going to coffee, by getting the coffee, I get to go to the kitchen. So I'm hoping maybe one of the incubi is there. I get out of bed and made my way to the kitchen, unconcerned that I was in pajama pants and a tank top. I rummaged through, this, I rummaged through the cabinets for a coffee machine and any makings for a coffee. Surely my grandfather had some. A French press? Well, it's better than nothing. As I began to make my coffee, I checked my email and texts on my f texts on my phone. No new important emails, no text messages. I sighed. I quickly made my coffee just how I liked it and sat on the counter. But then I began to wonder. Would this happen every day? I let the question linger in my mind. For a whole morning, I did not think once about the boys or Malik's. Everything was peaceful, everything was average, nothing magical or dangerous or unusual. Uh oh, ellipses. I simply drank my coffee as I let the thought marinate in the back of my mind. So nothing's gonna happen? Oh! I returned to bed feeling the weight of the morning drag me under my covers to try sleeping again. I had energy, but I wanted more sleep. It was Sunday and nothing was happening today. Come on eyes, back to sleep. I shut my eyes and tried to slow my breathing. I looked at my phone to check the time once again. It was noon, yet it felt like I had slept for much longer. Why is time going so slowly? I sighed, I got changed into normal clothes and went out to the main hall and sat on the stairs. Sundays were very boring. However, the muffled sounds of battle caught my attention. Huh? Okay, so we're gonna go outside and see them fighting, I guess. Yep. They're all fighting. Sam was in the mill, and they were all throwing. This is which one is Sam again? James, Sam, Sam. Okay, in the yard, all the in the yard was all five of the boys practicing fighting. Sam was in the mill with the other four surrounding him and throwing punches and kicks at Sam, at him. Sam, being the strongest of the bunch, blocked and dodged almost each, each almost masterfully. I should totally disturb them. What? 
<laughs> Look at her expressions. All at once, the boys looked at me, frozen in their movements. I just stood at the doorway, staring at them after my outburst. Sam, Sam, James was the first to break away from the group, stepping towards me. Good morning. We apologize if we woke you up. It's all good, man. It's fine. I'm awake for a while now. I'm sorry I interrupted. It's quite all right. We needed to stop anyway. We don't want to overwork Sam. Oh, come on. I can handle more than those pity punches. Your mind seems grateful that we've stopped. Shut up, Damien. Oh, crap. We should probably make some lunch. I'm sure you're starving. Yeah, man. I can handle lunch if you like. You all seem very busy training to beat Malix. I'll take care of it today. Whoa, seriously? Yeah, man. Why not? I'm not useless. I know how to cook and do other stuff, too. W well, no, I wasn't insinuating. What he means to say is that we'd be really grateful if you could make lunch today. Sweet. No problem. As I turned to the kitchen, the boys went back to training. Okay, so whatever. I got this part. I need to figure out what we're going to make. Ah, I don't... I know I made ch chicken and rice before. P uh, I don't know if that really affect anything. Chicken and rice is carbs and protein. That'd be great for training. Cold cup sandwiches seems kind of easy. Pizza is kind of greasy and sluggish. That's not very good. I would say simple chicken and rice. Oh. <laughs> okay. Simple chicken and rice. There you go. All right. I, I didn't seem to get anything for that, but whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll just keep on going forward. All right. None of the boys were there. Part of me wanted to go to one in particular. The other part of me wanted to just leave them be and take the food in my hands to my room and eat. Maybe I could go out today while the boys focus on training. Fine. What do you think you buy? Reached. I rushed back and grabbed a second's food dish before hunting down one of the boys. Please tell me I find one of them. I looked down the hall trying to find one thank you by wandering so that I couldn't, so I wouldn't have to go through each individual room finding them. I, pers I pursed my lips in irritation. Where the heck are they? I sighed, knowing that I would have to search for them in each room. I quickly turned and headed back to the dining room one last time. When I arrived, I gasped. There he is! What? Found him! Why did you want to find him? Because I need to find Because last time I didn't find anybody. I think I screwed up. Alright, I want to talk to one of these guys. Matthew was crouched <laughs> un, was crouched on near the kitchen doorway, peering into it as if a rat had gotten loose in the pantry, and he was stalk, and he was the stalking examinator. Exterminator. Exterminator, I'm sorry. Matthew? I quickly shut my mouth and pressed my lips together in silence, confused but fearful as to why I had to be quiet. I tiptoed to Matthew, who was crouching by the entrance to the kitchen. His gaze and head moved across the side of the kitchen, still trying to find whatever he was looking for. He's in there. Who's he? Don't tell me it's that thing you made earlier. What? Matthew's face was seriously fearful and intense. Who was freaking him out this much? It's gotta been. It's gotta be that. That white Pokemon he made accidentally. My mind, however, instantly pinned the person down in my conclusion. Malix. Hell no! There's no way he's in there! Malix! Why did he come back and why was he in my kitchen? I started to freak out, remembering the fear I had the first time we met. However, I wasn't sure. Where were the others if it was Malix? It's I not Malix. We found him and cornered him in there. We know he's in there. And he sounds a little bit like Johnny Young Bosch, doesn't he? Hmm. Who's in there? That fluffy killer thing. I knew it. Fluffy killer thing. I bit my lips, suppressing a laugh. Once I swallowed my laughter down, I let out a sigh. You mean your cute bunny doll? Yeah, that thing. Wait, it's not cute. <laughs> Matthew instantly regretted not whispering and covered his mouth. I could not help but giggle. What's he doing in the kitchen? Matthew turned to me with an expression of utmost seriousness. Something told me that what he said would be cute and funny, but I decided to bite my tongue gently to not laugh no matter what. I don't know. I failed to keep hold of myself and started to giggle again. The thought of a doll doing anything but sitting there made me giggle. Matthew tried to hush me, waving his arms frantically to keep me quiet. Matthew, Simon's a doll. It can't do anything. 
You named him? <laughs> yes! Of course, Simon Tabby. Cute, isn't it? Matthew let out some sort of defeated whine before turning back to the kitchen, <laughs> trying to find Simon from where he was. I placed our food on the table and looked as well. So, what's your plan of attack? Well, I plan to make my way through the kitchen as quietly as I can, and hopefully not get stabbed. Sounds simple. Matthew nodded in agreement before finally moving from his spot and tiptoeing into the kitchen. <laughs> That's funny. I stood there, unsure of whether or not I should follow suit. Oh, we're totally following him. Join the hunt. <laughs> I didn't know why I was up for this, but I followed along. The smell, the small, adventurous side of me was very happy with my decision, but another side of me was questioning me, asking me why I did that. Matthew slowly walked through the kitchen, scanning the cupboards. The cupboards and cupboards. Is it cupboards or cupboards? Cupboards. <laughs> okay, and surfaces with a with immaculate glare. But what? Immaculate. I, that's, what I, that's what I said. Yeah. Okay. It was both amusing and slightly frightening to see how serious he could be. Do all of your toys get out of control like this? No, it's just this one. I don't know why. All my other toys are okay. Other toys? Matthew nodded, stopping his search to look at me. That's what I do. Uh, make toys. I made them for my mother all the time back in the Abyssal Plains. To help her cope with her position. Oh, it's another person who likes to make toys. Just like Grandfather! Oh, we have something in common! Shut up. <laughs> Her position? She's the fourth wife of my birth father. Each of us have a different mother, and all of them, except for Damien's, are queens. My mom, though, hates sharing, so I distracted her with toys. Hmm. That's a lot of baby mamas. I didn't know what to say. A demon with multiple wives seems natural, but I guess because I was human, I felt a twinge of disgust run through my veins nonetheless. Still, it was adorable how Matthew tried to cheer his mom up with his abilities. I was then suddenly reminded of my grandfather and how he made toys all the time for kids. Oh, I did not see that coming. Matthew's power to make small toys instantly would have been, would have been so useful to my grandfather. I shook my head and began to search for Simon again. Let's keep looking for Simon. Matthew nodded before joining in. I felt like I was in a comedy mystery, looking for a child's toy instead of a murder weapon. Come on out, creepy thing. Yeah, man, come out. His, its name is Simon. Matthew ignored my statement and began to slowly open the cupboards, sifting through the inside contents. I decided to follow suit staring at the opposite end of the kitchen. Matthew, what do we do if we find him? We stick him back in my pocket, and, uh... I looked to Matthew, waiting for him to finish replying. However, he kept his eyes to the ground, trying to answer my question and remaining in thought. I continued to search the cupboards, unsure now if this plan was going to go anywhere. Why was I even doing this? Simon Tabby was a... Uh... What the... Matthew and I scanned the kitchen frantically, searching for the source of that laugh. This, it sounds like Snoopy! That's what it sounds like! Did you hear it? Or, you know, what's the name of the yellow bird? Woodstock? Yeah. yeah. I knew that thing was evil! <laughs> Suddenly everything went black. What?! Turn out the lights! I gripped to the nearby counter, not wanting to hit hey, wait a minute, what kind of what kind of situation is developing here? Oh my goodness, oh my. I gripped to the nearby counter, not wanting to hit anything or fall in the darkness. There were no windows, so the room was com almost completely pitch black. I could hear skittering across the floor like a rat rushing to escape with his cheese in his mouth. I instantly jumped in fear before suddenly being pushed to the ground. Ah, watch out! <laughs> Stupid Matthew. <laughs> Fuck. I felt myself hit the ground with a body over a top. <laughs> totally knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. 
<laughs> I hit myself. I felt myself hit the ground with a body over top of me. Two <laughs> hands were shit were slammed besides my head onto the tile floor, stopping the person above me from crushing me. Hey, are you okay? He better not be gripping one of my boobs. And by my boobs, I mean the main character's boobs. Uh, yes. I like an anime. It normally happens. Yeah, you know. Because they somehow managed to get a squishy boob confused with Every two time. Every time. Yeah, hey, just, just go. I get confused all the time. Just, just do it. Okay. Anyway, Matthew, yeah, I am. I stared up at Matthew, letting the situation sink in. We were looking for a doll, and now we were on the ground. What broke my thoughts was a flash of gold running across Matthew's face. A flash of gold? I could feel, I could feel heat radiate from his body. But the air was tense and his body was almost shaky. Matthew, are you okay? I, I, um... I heard him gulp, answering my question. He wasn't okay, I could tell, but he wasn't moving. Matthew? S sorry, I, uh... Soon, a golden glow covered Matthew's eyes. I expected to feel warmth in my body from an upcoming spell, but I felt nothing. Something was wrong. I... I need you to... I need you to push me off. I, uh... I... What? From the sound of his voice, he was desperate to get up and off of me. Why couldn't he move, though? Then it hit me. Matthew, do you need energy? I, I do, but I... Oh, Lord have mercy. Matthew shut his eyes to try to hide his golden gaze from me. He didn't want to take my energy? Why? Was he ashamed to? I <laughs> should was gonna happen! Of course, you just left a dude with... Yeah, um... Um, you're gonna have to... Yeah, you're gonna kinda have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. If he needed energy, I was willing to give it. But why'd I have to kiss him to do it? They just... Because what do Inky... Uh, um... you know, in, this, in this game, they could do it just by touching you. They don't have to kiss you, but I'm going to yeah. kiss him! I gently grabbed Matthew's face and tilted his head to angle with mine. Leaning in closer to him, I brought my face and lips to his. She is very, like, forward. You know what I mean? Yeah, like... Yeah, I haven't seen a dude ever. Let me just rape them with my mouth. <laughs> no, uh, hey, 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 it's not a... It's not, oh, I'm sorry. This is not the vampire yeah. stage of Fifty Shades. <laughs> no. My bad. <laughs> All right, we're not, yeah, it's just, there's, no, there's none of that in here. Well, okay, never mind. It's a, it's a PG. Isn't this a PG-16 game? I don't... It, at this no, point, no, no, okay, really? just, okay, we'll just continue. Okay, okay. I brought my face and lips up to his and kissed him deeply. Deeply. Wow, couldn't just peck <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if this would help, but it was how he got energy before. I shut my eyes, wanting for the dreaming, draining feeling to reappear in my body. Matthew didn't move, nor did I feel energy drained from me. I opened my eyes and saw Matthew staring wide-eyed at me, but unmoving. He was unsure of what to do, and I had silenced him in confusion, so he didn't even take energy. I pulled away and spoke. I want to give you some of my energy. You've used a lot of it, and I'm sure that the energy you took from me was only used for healing. Let me help you. I... I, uh, mean... I really... I don't. Matthew, if you don't want my energy, just tell me. But I'm offering it to you if you do. All of a sudden, I felt that familiar feeling of warmth run through my body once again. I felt my body slightly heat up as Matthew wrapped an arm around my body and pulled my body tighter to his. Matthew grew a lustful gaze before speaking, bringing, up, bringing a hand up to cup the back of my neck. Are we going to see a picture? Okay. Wow. Hey. Before I knew it, Matthew pulled me into a gentle but passionate kiss. Heat erupted through my body as his kiss slowly and almost timidly got deeper. Wow. Um, not Fifty Shades? Kid. No, it's not. Stop. <laughs> Fifty Shades sucks. Yes. Horribly. Let's not it even. not suck either? Let's stop. Stop. Look, <laughs> we gotta hurry up because this music is really getting to me. Like, <laughs> it's really getting to you? Like, okay. This is making it do you seem need, so do it's you, a hornball. Do really. you need a space? Matthew is a hornball. Let's keep moving. No. Okay, anyway. Sorry, guys. 
Matthew kept an arm around my waist while I rested my hands on his chest. <gasps> <laughs> the energy from my body was slowly draining in the kiss, making me feel light and warm. It was almost pitiful how comfortable and how willing I was in this situation. Still, I held no regrets. I was enjoying every bit of this kiss. Matthew was full of surprises, as childish as, as childish as he was. He definitely was proving to be a man while he was kissing me. Oh my. Oh. Matthew. Go ahead. <laughs> Matthew wasn't forceful, but his kiss was deep and passionate, and it felt almost magical. It was how I imagined the first kiss to be life, except with the energy drain. Soon, though, the energy drain stopped and Matthew gently pulled his face away to end the kiss. I stared up at him as we both panted for air. I had never kissed like that before and was so lost in the moment I, that I had forgotten how to breathe. Matthew moved a strand of hair from my face to behind my ear, eyes still full of desire. Oh my god. Matthew stared, <laughs> Matthew stared silently at me, unsure of what to say. Hold on a second. This, this thing. I don't want this thing going off again. I know you guys can hear it in the background. I could feel the hold of his mind-altering spell fade away, but I still felt hot. Something told me that I wanted more, but at the same time I wasn't sure if I truly did want to give any more. Stop, yo. Stop or kill. Yo, cause it's turned into a it's turned into a soft porn. Like you just it's <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, Yo we're, we're, we're gonna keep going. Like Yo, you gonna keep going? Yeah, we're gonna keep going, yeah. Someone's yo. gonna catch you, yo. We <laughs> that's fine. Yo. I opened the opportunity and wasn't joined and was enjoying it as much as he was. I wanted more, and I was going to let him keep going. I wanted to keep going. I leaned up and kissed him again. Matthew, ga <laughs> Matthew gasped against my lips, but continued to kiss back. I could feel him pull on the tail of my bow, releasing it and following his hand off from around my neck. <laughs> he moved a rip into his pocket before gently unbuttoning the top two buttons of my blouse. Okay! What did I freaking <laughs> tell you? Okay! <laughs> Um, stop! Oh, shut, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! All right, we're we're gonna finish this part and we're gonna stop for the day because apparently, I I can't. I think I did. The, I think I'm doing the good, the right thing. No, but it's just that this. It's, no, this is we're not we're not asleep. Okay, it's different. We're just mm -hmm. passionately kissing, and it's Dude, hot. He's taking off your blouse and you're not because it's hot. Saying, no, because it's hot. Yeah, you know what the other word for hot is? Shut up! No, no, chill. No, no. All right, I can feel him. Oh, I already read this. But see, he distracted me. I was about to read it again. The desire in my body drove me insane, forcing a moan to escape my lips as he ran kisses from my lips down to my exposed neck. As he began to ravage my neck and shoulder in hot kisses, I leaned my head back and let a pleasurable sigh escape my lips. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Joe, you're good. You're good. You're, you're so hilarious. This does nothing for you, does it? It doesn't, man. Gee, you suck. You okay? I'm this enjoying. Is, is I'm enjoying this, and you're ruining it. You're ruining it for me, dude. There's people that's humping a, a washing Shut machine right up. now. Shut up! Shut of up! <laughs> it's on you spin cycle. Stop. There are kids. <laughs> it's on spin cycle. There are kids that might be watching. But I need you to relax. Dude, kids a little see bit. worse stuff all the time. No, dude. stop, please. Yo, kids. If kids are watching this. <laughs> Need I say more? You know, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me finish the let. Me. By all means, do finish. God damn it, you know, let me finish the let's play, okay? It's not playing. <laughs> yeah, we're not really playing it. <laughs> this is not a game. <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a drill. All right, it's not a drill, okay? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna finish this. I need uh, to just stop ahead, for a little man. bit, okay? He was ruthless with that shit. That's all right, right, Matthew was ruthless in his passionate kisses on my skin. Matthew didn't stop touching and kissing me, making <laughs> making more moans and gasps rush, rush out of my mouth into the open air. Rah. He may have been full. <laughs> he, he may have been full, but he was as hot as I was. 
I couldn't even comprehend. <laughs> I couldn't even comprehend how much time we spent making out. Jesus Christ! I was lost in the pleasure that I didn't care. Called sinful, but I didn't care. I loved it. His touch, his kiss, his heat. I desired it beyond anything at that moment, even as he lowered his kisses down my chest to just above my bra. <laughs> Dude, you're narrating. You know, it's just, it's, you know, look. It's, you're I'm, narrating. I'm, I'm going to just say dot, dot, dot. Just so you can stop finish it. Okay. All right. My heart was beating wildly in my chest. Something about Matthew intrigued me immensely, but something made my heart quicken for him. It couldn't have been love, but it was too passionate to be lust. It was somewhere in the middle. What was it? However, I began to feel dizzy, seeing the sky start to spin almost wildly. I gripped to Matthew's shoulders, trying to signal him to stop, but my mind faded to black before I could let out, let out another sound. So I fainted again? Oh my god, it felt good. <laughs> Like you said, oh my god, I don't see that anywhere in the print. No, 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 that was, that was because I, I'm upset that I fainted again, apparently. How are you upset? Because that's my character. You're supposed to stop. I told you to stop. <laughs> I just didn't. I didn't care that I was blacked out. I felt warm and fuzzy in the darkness. I never knew indulging in that kind of passion would be that good. I now just awaited to waken, hopefully in a good way. Mm -hmm. Great. My eyes eventually flooded open, adjusting to the sight around me. I felt familiar silks underneath me, letting me know that I was in my bed. I slowly sat up, stretching from the tiredness that still lingered. I felt a very soft pain on my neck and shoulders, and I could feel my swollen lips pulse gently and healing. Swollen lips? What the hell happened to me? No, he sucked the life out of you. Okay, yeah. However, when I looked down at my body, I saw that my shirt had been pulled back up and rebuttoned as if nothing happened between me and Matthew. I was just missing my ribbon. Before I turned to get out of bed, though, I spotted my ribbon on the pillow beside the one I slept on. It was tied in a. It was tied around. Si it was tied around Sam, Simon Tabby in a nice bow, with a small note attached to it. I gently slipped the note from the tie and opened it to read it. I, I'm really, really, really sorry. I I didn't mean for it to go that far. Please forgive me. I think I'll let this one slide. <laughs> I stared I stared at the note, letting a small smile grace my lips. He went too far. I enjoyed it despite the first time circumstance. It was cute it was cute though to imagine him thanking me for something we both didn't enjoy. And enjoy we did. Don't add to the context. Or, Go ahead, man. <sighs> I bought I, bought, I brought the note to my chest, letting the memories of our meeting flood my mind. And then to masturbation. Stop! Ahead. Uh, you add, I can There are add people to on YouTube watching this. Stop. I indulged myself too, Matthew. I need to find a... Oh, God. I looked to the time out of... I looked to the time out of curiosity. The large white numbers on my phone showed... 5.31 p.m. Yikes! Four hours of being knocked out, and I still feel tired. It was Sunday, so I was allowed to sleep longer if I wanted to. The remainder of the night went surprisingly uneventful. The boys continued to train with each other, but were kind enough to stop and make me dinner. I was glad for that. Unsurprisingly, the food was perfect, but it felt a little empty without the boys to eat with me. They most likely had already eaten. Still, I felt lonely. I couldn't let it bother me. I ate and went back to my room to study and sleep. Surprisingly, I felt good going back to bed that night. Going to bed that night. I felt like I could have a peaceful sleep after the previous rough, rough nights I had. <clears throat> I felt good. I drifted to sleep and woke almost flawlessly that next morning. No grogginess, no aches, perfectly energized and bright-eyed. And I think we're going to stop there. Why? Because I think this is the part after this where I go to school and eventually um, get captured at some point. So do it. No, we're going to do that now. This is probably longer than I thought it was going to be. But <clears throat> at least I know now that I am now in a route where it's not going to end in some angel sucking my memories out from my body. Okay. Angel? Oh, yes. 
What happened the last time, huh? The, uh, y- y- I'll show it to you later after. Life was cut short, huh? No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Just just such a dork. Anyway. I am a dork, man. It's real talk. All right. Let me, let me I got I to gotta cut you off now. All right. But. All right, guys, I know you enjoyed the video. I know you enjoyed the, the back and forth between me and my sister. But, uh, you know, but we got to agree this is more than kind of you hear that. Perfectly energized and bright eyed. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you haven't followed the 104 The Voice Squad on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, you should also do that as well. If you haven't bought this, if you haven't played this game yet, what the hell are you doing? It's free! It's a free game! And as you can see... It says I'm, seduce me. It's a lot of fun. It's seduce me. The and kids me. are supposed to be watching this. Kids should not me? be watching this. But you're telling me to <laughs> rate it down to G like kids are watching this. This is Disney. not Disney. At all. Disney's not even G. But I like it. Oh, <laughs> I like it because I'm in it. I know. Mostly that. No, so, not mostly that. There's a lot of other reasons. So biased. But... You drew a these big people. reason I didn't draw them actually. You probably drew can, it. yeah. Oh, she's awesome. Yeah, she's very awesome. I can build. <laughs> uh, do not replay these in real life. <laughs> I'm the, I'm, these, this is going on YouTube. Sorry. All right, guys. See you guys around next time. This is James from 104th Voice Squad. This is my sister Janelle. You'll never hear from her again. That's not true. Either. You suck. <laughs> All right, peace.